Now it's time to have some fun. In this lesson, you're going to see how to really make the site rich with interaction. We're going to create little thumbnail swatches of colored samples from this glass. And then when we click on them or roll on them, uh, we'll update the image next to it. This is a really cool lesson, and this is going to be showing you how to use behaviors. All right, first thing we want to do is go ahead and add some graphics here. So I've highlighted um, or placed my cursor next to this twisted amber, okay, and I have a swatch here called twisted amber. So I'll just click and drag that right here. I'm not going to, um, actually, I will place a, a alt tag swatch amber. Actually, I'll just put swatch. Yeah, we'll leave swatch amber since it's a link. Okay, and there it is. So it's very hard to see. Uh, in this instance, I am going to change the width to 30. Okay, let's see what we get here. Okay. And I'm going to show you a great trick, and that's this zoom tool that's now available in this new version, which is pretty cool. So we can actually zoom right in, just like that. The hand tool will let you move around like this. It's kind of cool. All right, so we'll select that graphic now, and I'm going to teach you a little trick. You can actually resample this image, okay? And that's, um, let's see, right here, resample. So we'll say okay, and by doing this, it is permanent, so you can't undo it. We'll say all right, and it just kind of blends out the colors a little bit. All right, so we have one for topaz. We'll go ahead and put in. For topaz, and I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, width of 30 as well. And I'll go ahead and check that. Okay, the next one is the bent emerald. So let's see if we can find that. Swatch for curved. Green, that's where that one is. Okay, and we also have a swatch for the aqua. All right, and we'll go ahead and make these 30 as well. Okay, and as you can see, they're very pixelated, but if I hit this resample button, kind of smooths out those pieces for us. Very nice. All right, lastly, I have this ruby and sapphire. So I'll put in my swatches here. Swatch for the bottle, so we'll say. Okay, and then one for the sapphire. Okay, oh, misspelled that one. S-A-P-P. -P. Okay. Well, I'll teach you another little trick, is, which is using commands in your history. And what we could do is go up here to commands and choose start recording. And I'll set this to 30. Okay. And I'll say stop recording. And now I have kind of a macro. So I can take this little guy, I can go to commands, and I can choose play recorded commands. There it go. Now you can actually take this, go to your commands list, okay? And I actually have one here that I'm going to throw away. Let me actually save my commands here one second. Let me open up my commands palette here. Okay, you can get to that through the history palette. So you go to history, and then here I set my width to 30, and I did a resample. So I can right click and choose save as command. And I'll just save this as resize. So it's telling me that the resample can't happen. You have to actually do that by hand. So that's okay. I mean, if, but you've got your resampling ready to go. So anytime you were to, let's say, grab and we'll replace this ruby in here. 
Okay. And, oops, let me actually delete that. Well, it's been, um, let me overwrite that graphic because um, anytime that, anytime that you edit that, it automatically recreates that image over there. So I'm going to re-drop this image. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So I can now just run my command. So I can go to commands, resize. There it is. Hit a button. So it will keep you from having to type in the numbers over and over and, again, possibly making a mistake or an error. So let's go back to 100%. I can just double-click on my little zoom tool to go back to 100%. There we go. We've got these cool um, little swatches that we're going to work with. And so now what we're going to do is take that little swatch and make it update this graphic. So I'm going to do two of these real quick just so you can see how this works. And then I'll let you kind of work with these on your own. And I'll, I'll go ahead and in the next lesson I'll do the rest of them. That way you can skip it if you'd like. All right. We're going to go to the Tag Inspector. And then we're going to go to Behaviors. And that's where it's tucked away. So on this graphic, I'm going to add a behavior. Okay, and it's going to be called, um, let's see, Swap Image. And it's going to say, OK, what image do you want to swap? Well, I'd like to swap the Twisted Amber. OK, Browse, Special Editions. And I'd like to switch it with the same twisted, um, let's see, where is that? Twisted amber. Okay, so no major change there. We'll say OK. On the topaz, we'll go ahead and add swap image. So we're going to say image twisted amber, this image right here. We're going to switch you out with twisted topaz. We'll say OK. Hit OK. All right, now let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay, I'll go ahead and save this file. We'll go ahead and preview it. Now, when I go to preview it, it's going to give me an error because of this flash file. So we'll go ahead and add insert mark of the web here as well. All right, so we'll save it. Press F12 to preview this. And if you can take a look here, as I roll my mouse over, I can see what this looks like in purple. Pretty cool. So I'm going to do these next. So at this point, you can stop the lesson. I'm just going to redo those things. Um, and then I'll show you how to tweak these out here in just a second. All right, so we'll get this green one. Swap image. The bent emerald is what we're going to tweak. And we want to keep it on the bent emerald. So we'll say um, curved emerald. And then this is the aqua. So bent emerald is what we're going to change. We're going to change that to the aqua. OK, that's done. And then now the bottles down here. So we'll say swap image. The bottle ruby is going to switch with the bottle ruby. And then the sapphire. bottle and the sapphire. Okay. So let's save this, preview it. That's changed. That changes. That changes. Okay. Very, very simple and easy way of creating rollover effects for this page. Next lesson, I'll show you how to tweak some of those.